Blake Lively, once Hollywood's golden girl, celebrated her 37th birthday under a cloud of controversy. Despite being surrounded by A-list friends like Taylor Swift and Ryan Reynolds at Swift's luxurious Rhode Island mansion, the celebration was marred by the public fallout from the actress's recent It Ends With Us press tour. As Lively tried to enjoy her milestone day, the backlash from fans and critics over her tone-deaf promotional tactics seemed to overshadow what should have been a joyous occasion. Could this birthday be the turning point in Blake Lively's career, or the beginning of a new chapter marred by scandal? Blake Lively celebrated her 37th birthday at Taylor Swift's stunning $17 million Rhode Island mansion, surrounded by close friends and family. Among the guest list were her husband Ryan Reynolds and their four children, as well as Swift's boyfriend, NFL star Travis Kelsey, his Kansas City Chiefs teammate Patrick Mahomes, and a few more famous faces including Bradley Cooper. The sprawling 11,000-square-foot mansion, affectionately called High Watch, provided the perfect backdrop for what could have been a magical weekend getaway. With its private beach, swimming pool, and expansive grounds, it should have been the kind of birthday that most could only dream of. However, for Lively, the festivities couldn't mask the growing tension surrounding her professional life. While the guest list and scenic location painted a picture of bliss, Lively's birthday lacked one glaring element, public acknowledgement from her famous friends. The silence was deafening, as there were no celebratory posts or heartfelt messages from her usual A-list companions, not even from her sisterhood of the Traveling Pants co-stars. This absence seemed to reflect a larger issue, as Blake has been at the center of a growing storm surrounding her promotional work for the film adaptation of It Ends With Us. The movie, based on Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel, was meant to showcase Lively's acting prowess in a darker, more serious role. Instead, it has become the focal point of intense backlash. During the film's press tour, Lively made headlines for all the wrong reasons, her awkward handling of questions about domestic violence, sarcastic responses to reporters, and the promotional tie-ins with her personal hair care and alcohol brands, which many found to be out of touch with the sensitive themes of the film. Critics have called her approach tone-deaf, especially given the film's serious subject matter of abuse and trauma. Fans, too, voiced their displeasure, taking to social media to express their disappointment with Lively. A quick glance at her most recent Instagram post, shared on August 8, reveals a flood of angry comments, accusing the actress of trivializing the very issues her character in the film faces. According to a source close to the star, Blake has taken the criticism to heart. Blake is definitely saddened by the hate she is getting and is trying not to let it affect her, but it is, an insider told Daily Mail. She thought this was her moment to shine but is now looking at it like the end of her career. Beyond her recent film, rumors of tension on the set of It Ends With Us have only added to the controversy. Reports suggest that Lively and the film's director, Justin Baldoni, had a less-than-amicable working relationship. Allegations surfaced claiming that Baldoni had fat-shamed the actress, creating a tense atmosphere on set. The fallout was evident during the press tour, where the cast appeared distant and Baldoni conducted solo interviews. The once highly anticipated film has been met with mediocre reviews, and while it has pulled in $242.6 million globally, the drama surrounding its production has cast a long shadow over its success. Yet, even amid the backlash, Lively's career remains in flux. She recently wrapped filming for A Simple Favor 2, the sequel to the hit black comedy crime thriller. The first film, directed by Paul Feig and co-starring Anna Kendrick, was a surprise box office success, and fans eagerly await the next chapter. Whether this sequel will help restore Blake's star power or serve as another misstep remains to be seen. For now, it seems that the actress is looking to take a step back from the spotlight to reassess her future in Hollywood. Blake Lively's 37th birthday was meant to be a celebration with friends, family, and good times at Taylor Swift's opulent estate. But instead, it was marked by an undercurrent of professional turmoil and public backlash. The once unshakable star now faces an uncertain future as the fallout from it ends with us continues to ripple through her career. While her loyal fans hold out hope that she will rebound from this tough period, it's clear that Lively has some serious reflection ahead. Her future as an actress, 
director, and producer hangs in the balance, but one thing is certain, Hollywood loves a comeback story. Perhaps this low moment will serve as the catalyst for Blake Lively's reinvention, but for now, it seems like the star's birthday was anything but happy.